to make sure that it still works for your business. Um, I would say still Instagram, even though it's being kind of nuts right now. How brands can show up authentically on social media without being performative. Short video ate the world in 2022, but we can't abandon strategy to chase the algorithms. Hey, I'm Carolina from Hootsuite's social media team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. Today, I'm going to walk you through five steps to update your social media strategy for next year. This is kind of a sequel to our video on how to create a social media strategy from scratch. So if you don't have a strategy in place yet, I'd go watch that first. But if you do have one, I'm going to show you how to tweak and improve it based on your results from last year. At Hootsuite, we have 9 million followers on five platforms, and we do a complete review and update our social media strategy at least once a year, sometimes even more frequently. Why? Because the social media landscape changes a lot over 12 months, and so does our business. And we aren't just changing our tactics, sometimes we're changing our goals. Otherwise, we'd all still be writing Facebook updates in the third person and posting high contrast selfies with Bernie edges to Instagram. Okay, let's get into it. Step one for updating your social media strategy is taking a look at your business's overall goals. What's your North Star? Are you looking to meet new clients? Are you selling a product? Are you trying to build buzz? For some brands, the goal never changes, and for some, it changes every year. For example, the brand new cafe down my street needs to make a big splash to entice new people to come check it out. But the roast around the corner has been around for 30 years, and they're more focused on selling mail order subscriptions to their beans. Talk to your colleagues or your inner CEO and get some clarity on the most important goals for your business next year. Great, so now you can look at your goals on social media and how your efforts on social can support your business. If your business goal is related to awareness, you wanna increase metrics like followers, views, profile views, or social share of voice, AKA SSOV. If your goal is to delight and engage your customers, you wanna measure likes, comments, and conversations. If your goal is selling, then you care about leads, click-throughs, signups, and sales. For each of your business goals, write down the specific actions you want your social media audience to take, whether that's following your accounts, buying your products, sharing your posts, leaving comments, going to your website, signing up for your newsletter, etc. Or, you know, signing up for a free trial. <laughs> okay, so this is where we take a look at specific tactics and how they've performed on your social channels over the past year. The best place to look for this is in the analytics section of your social accounts but to save yourself some time clicking and scrolling from profile to profile, you can just do it all within Hootsuite Analytics. Hootsuite allows you to view all of your high-level and granular social media post data while creating customized reports all in one place so you can see what's performed well and not so well on your channels. If you wanna create a new custom report, click on the Analytics icon in the toolbar and click on Create New Report. This allows you to create a new custom report that suits your needs and unlock valuable data about your social posts and tactics. We recommend creating a custom report for each social channel to best understand the account's high-level performance. For more tactical reporting on a post-by-post -post level, check out the top performing post report to discover granular data about your social tactics over the past year. It's easy to toggle the date range, set custom filters, and search for past posts. When sifting through the data, it's important to keep in mind your goals for each platform and social tactic. For example, do your tweets lead to a lot of sales or new followers? Or are you spending all of your time there on individual customer questions? I mean, that can also be a good thing if it's one of your business goals. But if it's not, ask yourself if there's a more efficient way to handle your customer care. Maybe using a social commerce chatbot like Heyday, for instance. You also want to consider the different formats and features on each platform. Instagram has stories, feed posts, reels, and DMs, and you can use each of those to encourage people to take specific actions. For instance, you can post links in your stories, which is important for selling. Meanwhile, posting reels can help you reach new audiences. Look at how well each different format has worked. Just remember that you don't have to do it all. In fact, you 
can't do it all. It's okay to focus on the parts of social media that you enjoy because your audience will feel that joy and react to it. It's just science. Science rules. So pull your analytics for the last 12 months and grade your performance based on your goals and previous year's benchmarks. Use historic data and benchmarks to take into account the results of a top performing piece of content. So for example, if a top performing Facebook post on your account typically gets 100 likes, 25 comments, 15 shares, and 10 link clicks, use that as a benchmark when analyzing your posts and reporting. From there, you'll have a clear indicator of what's performing well and what you can stop for next year. First, let's go over what a content pillar or content bucket is. Basically, it's how we categorize the different types of content that you post. For instance, your education or entertainment content pillar just offers straight up value without asking for anything in return. Meanwhile, your promotional content pillar shows how your offering will improve your audience's life and maybe even offers them insider info or special deals. I could talk about content pillars all day. So if you wanna learn more about them, tell me in the comments below and we'll make a whole video on that. Just don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can watch it when it's ready. But back to strategy. In this step, your job is to cut any pillars that haven't been getting the results you want and tweak any pillars that are working to make them even better. For instance, this year we found that linkless posts on LinkedIn and Twitter are so great at getting reactions and conversations going that we gave that format its own content pillar. Okay, step five is go out and do it, or at least go out and plan to do it. Now that you have a general idea as to what you wanna post and why, you can start to sketch out a schedule. For instance, you could brainstorm ideas once a month, film once a week, and also schedule 30 minutes a day for engagement and social listening. You'll also want to start blocking your social media calendar itself, but that's a whole other video. Actually, yeah, if you haven't watched Brayden's video on how to make a social content calendar in Google Docs, I highly recommend it. It has a free calendar template to help you get started. And of course, you can also use Hootsuite's calendar since you already have the trial, right? That way, you can batch create your content, schedule in advance, and that includes TikToks and Reels. Plus, handle your conversations in one inbox and get all your custom analytics. And look, I'm not saying I would die without it, but I, I kind of might. Okay, that's all for today. Bye for now, friends.